You can't buy God's grace. God's grace is like this. One time there was a mighty king. And this mighty king had a son, and it was his only son. And one day a murder killed that boy. And through that kingdom went the delegates hunting for that murder. They finally found that murder. And when they found him, they brought him back and imprisoned him. And when they did, a trial was set, and a sentence was made. Oh, it was a terrible thing. He had murdered the king's son. And he knew what was coming to him. They put him into the inner cells. They locked the doors. They put pads on it so no one in the guards around it. Because we know what kind of a horrible punishment this boy was going to receive because he killed the king's son. The royal king's son. Guards is placed all around the doors. He's put in the inner cells, stripped with nothing but a, a loincloth on him. There he was set there in that condition, starving, wouldn't give him nothing to eat. He was set in, in that condition. Then they brought him out to a trial. He was found guilty and proven guilty. A sentence was made that he is to be executed under horrible capital punishment. He is to be killed by inches until his mortal life was gone, sentenced by the judge. He is to die. And he begged and he cried and he said, though I am guilty, though I am guilty, I'm sorry that I did that. I wish I had never done it. I'm sorry that I did In a moment of a rage of temper, I did it. I didn't mean to do it that way. One day the king went down to the place to visit the boy, to tell him, talk to him, and tell him about killing his own son, the only son he had. He'd kill that boy. He said, I'm going down to talk to him. And when he went down there, he looked back in that cage like a caged-in animal. He saw his little skinny body laying back on the corner crying. His face all sunk in, jaw sank back, his eyes way back, matter was all in his eyes, his mouth was all white over, no water, thirsty, laying back there on his face crying. The king said, stand up. He come up to him and he looked at him. He said, why did you kill my son? What did my son do to you? What did he do to merit such a death as you killed him? Stabbing him to death with a spear. He said, nothing, my little father. Not one thing. Just my own impotence. Just my own way. I killed him because I was jealous of him. And I got in a temper fit and I killed him. So now I'm to die under your justice, sir. I realize that and I deserve to do it. Only thing I'm crying for. And I'm just sorry that I killed that royal man like that without a call. The king turned on his heels and walked out. Went out to the desk. He said, destroy all the records. You know, put them in the sea of forgetfulness. Hallelujah. Destroy all the records. Wash him up. Clean him up. I'll send out a robe for him. Hallelujah. After a while, a great big limousine drove up to the door. When it did, the carpet was spread out to the prison cell. The king stood there in the limousine and said, Come, my son, and ride home with me to the palace. Put the king's robe around his shoulder. He said, From henceforth, you are my son. Because he had pity. That's grace. That was me. Hallelujah. That was you. We killed the Son of God with our sins. We were alien, dirty, filthy, laying in the cells of the world. God washed us by the blood of His own Son. He cleansed us, put on the robe of the Holy Spirit. And now the great chariot of God will back up to the door someday and we'll go home to live with Him. Yeah. All records are destroyed. We can't be judged no more. Burn them up. He put them in the sea of forgiveness. Remember, it's about no more. No wonder we can think, Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found and was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. His grace that taught my heart to fear, grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed.